Hello, I'm Rex Shui and welcome to another episode on Ray Report. I just want to ask this question. Is LGBTQ a human right or it's a lifestyle? A great deal of, of work in my career has been to address human rights issues, equality issues across the board, including as it relates to the LGBT community. And I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people and that all people be treated equally. I will also say that uh, this is an issue that we consider and I consider to be a human rights issue and that will not change. What is your message to Western human rights groups, to President Obama, respect to lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people? Respect African societies and their values. If you don't agree, you just keep quiet. Let's manage our society the way we see. If we are wrong, we shall find out by ourselves. Just the way we don't interfere with yours. Mm. Do you personally dislike homosexuals? Of course, they are disgusting. What, what, what sort of people are they? Is the issue of sexual preference in many African countries. In Kenya, to be gay, the LGBT community is, is illegal. They just want to have equal rights, the same privacy and equality as all other Kenyans do. Is that something that you aspire to for your country? I want to be very clear. I will not engage in a subject that is of no, it, uh, it, it is not of any major importance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. This is not an issue, as you would want to put it, of um, human rights or this. This is an issue of society, of our own base as a culture, as a people, regardless of which community you come from. This is not acceptable. We are saying no to homosexuality. Why should you say we're going to be civilized if we only allow it? Are you, th are you saying we are very primitive now because we are frowning upon homosexuality? Even animals don't do it. Why should we be forced to do it? Because we want to be seen to be smart, to be seen to be civilized and advanced and so on. So now, the controversies surrounding LGBTQ has been centered on two focus areas. One, human rights versus a defense of a culture. Are human rights granted or it is an entitlement? Of course, nowhere are human rights granted. So if a group of people are going about telling people to grant certain rights to people, clearly it tells you that this is not a human right, but it's a lifestyle that they want to push to a certain kind of people. Clearly, from this stand, the American government is facing leadership crisis, and America is falling. Why? Imposing a liberal ideology to an independent nation, demanding them to make changes in their moral and cultural lifestyle, is unheard of. You ask yourself this question, don't those countries also have the right and freedom to choose what is right for them and their people? America has a lot to worry about within their own country. The falling of the US dollar, homeless people, jobless people, countries no longer willing to do business with America, countries no longer want to trade with the US dollar. And should this not be a major concern to the people of America and the American government? But despite all this, the government is busy pushing LGBTQ agenda, not only in America, but spreading to other parts of the world. And this is making America become a laughing stock. Of course, majority of Americans are not happy with the decision their government is taking, but the decision is binding on them. Majority of Americans don't even know what sex they belong to, whether they are male, female, or whatever. They don't even know. For years now, Human rights violations has been on the rise in Africa due to uh, civil wars, terrorism, among others. But the West and America doesn't show clear interest in it. When the issue of LGBTQ came up, that African countries are not in support, America and the West are now pushing money trying to support those African countries. What's the agenda behind all this? If you are promoting an agenda, you should live by an example for people to see and follow. And from that example, people will clearly make up their mind that yes, LGBTQ is good or LGBTQ is bad. Those pushing it, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, 
Emmanuel Macron and their cohorts. Now, Joe Biden is married to a woman. Kamala Harris is married to a man. Emmanuel Macron is married to a woman. Why are they not marrying same sex? But yet they are pushing same sex marriage in other parts of the world. If you are saying LGBTQ is right, then Emmanuel Macron should marry a man. Joe Biden should marry a man. Kamala Harris should marry a woman. So that you've set the example because you are those who are frontlining this agenda. So that people see that, oh, true, you have married the same sex. So then I can also go ahead and marry the same sex. The only way America can solve the issue of LGBTQ in Africa is by granting full citizenship to the LGBTQ community in Africa. So you take them to the U.S. where their rights are protected, they will have their peace of mind and have their freedom. So the only way is by showing true action, by taking them to the U.S. But here in Africa, they're going to have their rights violated. Africa will never going to accept LGBTQ. So their rights that you are trying to push will still or will continue to be violated. If you don't believe in polygamy, then deport people who are supporting it back to Africa and Africa will gladly accept them. The majority of the U.S. people don't support this, but the Biden administration has put them in this mess. People all over are laughing at America. Some policies that America has implemented over the years sometimes is beyond human imagination. Why is the U.S. not pushing the LGBTQ agenda in countries like Nigeria, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, among others, but rather focus on sub-Saharan Africa? Is there a clear agenda the U.S. is pushing? Well, let's get interactive in the comment section. I'm Rick Shree, and this is Ray Report, and thanks for watching.